Hi, welcome to my new series in under three minutes. Today we're gonna to be talking about authentication in a Next.js application using a Prisma database adapter. So authentication is something that used to be really difficult, but now actually with some of these amazing packages is something that's actually quite straightforward to implement. So let's get started. So a lot of this authentication is actually boilerplate code. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up a brand new project. You can go to my blog and get the code snippets at adamrichardson.dev forward slash blog. So we're gonna create a new Next.js application. In your project folder now, let's install Next Auth, the Prisma client and the Prisma adapter. We're also gonna install Prisma as a dev dependency. Moving into VS Code, we need to set up a route to handle all of our all of our authentication. So inside your API folder, let's make an auth folder. I'm gonna create a catch-all route, dot 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 next auth dot js. Inside that file, if you copy the code, you will be good to go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a env file to store our Google client ID and our Google client secret. So let's grab client ID, Google client secret. Let's grab the client ID. Got some white space there. Let's grab the client secret and paste that in. The next thing we need to do is run a command called npx prisma init. Now that's done, we got a little bit more boilerplate code to do. So in our schema, let's paste the code from the website and we're gonna run a command now to migrate our schema into our database. Our dev server is now running. So what we need to do is add this provider to our app.js, which gives us access to the use session hook. On our index page, we're then going to add the authentication. So next I'll give us a sign in, sign out, and use session hook. We're then gonna use the use session hook to see if we have a session. And then finally, I am going to paste in the code, which basically says if there's a session, then you're gonna show the email. And if there's not a session, then it's gonna give a sign in button. You can see we've got the sign in button. We can sign in with Google and we can also sign out. Wow, it's really difficult to squeeze all of that information into three minutes. We did end up copying and pasting quite a lot of the code from the blog post on my site. However, that is how I set up authentication anyway. Most of it is boilerplate. You know, NextAuth is an amazing package and you know it allows for developers such as myself to develop across the full stack. Authentication, going back a few years, was a, a specialism to create a really secure login and authenticate against the front end and request to a back end. It, it really did um, take an expert to do that securely. So using the boilerplate code that is provided is usually the, the way to go when it comes to authentication. That is on the client side. If you wanna do it on the server side, just use the get session hook and you can access that in get server side props and also in your API routes if you want to authenticate on the server side too. Hopefully you enjoy the series. I really like the challenge of squeezing stuff into three minutes. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.